Yeah. yeah, first of all, my name is Nikhil Naik from Vivaan Shore Technology and Mumbai. Uh, let's uh, start the presentation. This is a whole flow process for any steel plant, specifically a cold rolling steel plant. The first uh, raw material, raw material is the thickness of 5 mm to 2 mm just uh, comes to the factory, then it goes to pickling. The pickling line is mainly used to remove the rush from the uh, whole coil. And from there, the uh, material goes to 4 mm where the thickness has been reduced. And after that, the whole lubric lubricants and all the dirt are clean in the cleaning line. From there, it will just go to annealing line uh, for to the uh, to just uh, improve the microstructure of the <coughs> uh, of the coil. From there, it will go to skin pass mill. I'll say this is our area of experiment for this whole. After the skin pass mill, uh, the whole coil will go to multi blanking and CR slitting. In CR slitting, the width is, the width is reduced, and in the multi multi blanking, we get the output in form of sheet uh, coil. Uh, so this is an overview for the machine. So first of all, the objective of the skin pass mill is to attain the current yield point and desired surface surface characteristics. So what is the yield point? Yield point is a point on stress strain curve, which indicates the limit of the elastic. Oh, sorry, your slides are not moving. You need to move manually. Just a minute. Okay. Now, is it now visible? Your slides are visible, but it's not. Yeah, it's now overview. Okay. 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 Sorry. Sorry for that. Uh, so this is a uh, what is a yield point? Yield point is a point on stress strain curve which indicates the limit of the elastic behavior in the beginning of plastic behavior. So then we'll select the problem. So for the selecting a problem, we have selected that the machine is the skin pass mill. And in the skin pass mill, see this is a table of all the defects in the skin pass mill. Their respective tonnages in a metric ton and percentage of total uh, total tonnages and the defects removed at the skin pass mill. So you can see the see coil very. Uh, this is a defect in the given project. You can see this uh, horizontal lines they are present. This is a defect uh, due to microstructural uh, property. And see, uh, in, okay. For further better view, so we have plotted all the defects on a Pareto chart. The uh, according to the Pareto Pareto chart formula of 80 20 percent, we have selected the first three defects, which uh, which. Uh, which normally takes about 84.5% of the total uh, turns lost. And he, uh, also in that, uh, see the coil breaks takes up to 50% of the whole defect tonnage. So we have the plotted uh, coil breaks in a yearly data graph. From then on, we move to the fishbone diagram. This fishbone diagram will show how the coil breaks, uh, coil break failure normally occurs. So we have plotted according to the man, machine, method, and material type. So what is the problem and effects? The problem is mainly coil breaks. It affects normal the surface appearance of the coil. The problem is has been so severe it is uh, literally fifty percent of the tonnage of total defect tonnage. Coil break is formed by skin pass mill, which is a final process of cold, uh, cold rolling mill. So normally, if we have defect in the final stage, then all the previous stages are work done in the work done uh, cost done in the previous stages are just uh, normally there. Okay. So we just upload the existing method and proposed method. What do we do in existing method? In the factory, normally the workers use empirical method. Uh, they have just tried and tested it. It uh, normally works, but there are some times when all breaks uh, occur. The empirical method is just adjusting the distances between the payoff rail and the wall, the pit wall. It is called the side wall, is called the pit wall. So we'll now just use uh, artificial neural network. This is the flow chart for our neural network. First is we have to collect details from the machine. The machine, see this project is done at Tata Steel CRC. Right? So the machine generates a PADU data each month for all the uh, all the parameters to which, uh, what is the parameter of length, elongation, exactly that. So we just take all the input and analyze the input parameters. From there, we normalize the input uh, process. And then we just plot a training data set and from the training data set, which is uh, of the 80% of that uh, data is taking for training and 20% of the data is taking for testing phase. And uh, after that, we'll get a result phase. The software is normally is Python. 
you can also use matlab uh, software but python is normal, normally interactive and user friendly so this is a data set selection we take uh, eight data eight eight data sets first is average speed rf actual average elongation average elongation special average a pr tension average a recoil tension average positive mending negative mending and output. Uh, we just plot the can form a scatter plot for better understanding and after that in the training of an end network see in the training uh, we just get this uh, this graph which shows an accuracy with respect to the epoch uh, epoch done see we just uh, got, got an accuracy of 81.43 percent which is normally uh, which is low accuracy so then uh, to increase more accuracy we go to testing phase of the end Put a sample data of eight, eight, eight points, and from there we get a data of array equal to zero. This zero means that coil break does not occur, and one means the coil breaks occur. So we are just uh, uh, designed the neural network in such a way that it will give output of zero or one. That means coil break occur or does not occur. Simple as that. And from there, see, we we just taken two uh, outputs from our testing phase. First uh, shows that the output, coil break does not occur. See, array equal to zero, and second shows that array equal to one. That means the call break does occur. So it will just normally show. It will it will predict. And as for the future scope, uh, we have done just a graph in which it will show the significance of all the, uh, of all the parameters on the output. See, this shows a negative ending, elongation average, and R actual average. This uh, heavily influences the call break occurrence. So this could be a future uh, future scope for a project in the next stage, and then this is a conclusion. We can conclude that after ex execution product, the callbacks will be severely uh, reduced. And that's it. Thank you. Any question on this? Uh, thank you, sir, for your presentation. Hmm. And uh, I think we don't have a question for you. Thanks for your presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.